Hi kids! Today we will learn what are balanced and unbalanced forces. So let's start. Kids, we learned that anything moves if some force is applied to it. Nothing moves unless some force is applied to it in one direction. Any movement is always caused by some unbalanced force. Or only an unbalanced force can cause a movement. Let's see what are balanced and unbalanced forces. Forces always happen in pairs. It never happens that there is any single force acting on the thing or person. Let's learn it with examples. If a boy is standing, there are two forces acting on him. The floor is pushing the boy upwards and the gravity is pulling the boy downwards and both the forces are equal, that is, they are balanced. So, that is why the boy is in the standing position. So in case of balanced forces, equal and opposite forces are acting in opposite directions. In case of balanced forces, there will be no movement at all. If there is an object and two persons are pushing it from opposite sides, the object will stay still or will not move. If the force acting on both the sides is the same, that is, balance forces are acting on it. So the object will move only if one of the persons applies more force than the other. That is, there is an imbalance in the forces. So movement is caused only if unbalanced forces are there. Here is another example in case of tug of war. If the force applied by persons on both sides is the same or equal, the rope will not move. The rope will move only when the force is applied more by one side of the team than the other. That means unbalanced forces are there. If there is a ball at rest, it means balanced forces acting on it. Then the ball will stay at rest until some external force acts on it to shake the balance of forces acting on it. If someone kicks the ball, the force of the kick is more than the forces already acting on the ball. That is, gravity is pulling the ball. Ground is pushing the ball. That is, both the forces were equal and opposite. That is, balance forces were acting on the ball. But when someone kicked it, a larger force acted on the ball and there created an imbalance in the forces that moves the ball. Now the force of kick gradually decreases and the ball slows down. When the force of the kick becomes equal to the other forces acting on the ball, a gain balance forces are there acting on the ball and the ball stops. So kids, any movement is caused by unbalanced forces. When one out of the various forces acting on an object is more than others, only then the object moves. Here is an example of a seesaw. It will stay balanced. If the weight of both children is the same, or the same force is applied at both ends, a heavier person sits at any side. It will incline the seesaw towards the ground. That is, unbalanced forces now applied to the seesaw. So the seesaw moved. So kids, balance forces are equal in size, cause no movement, and acts in opposite direction. Unbalanced forces are not equal in size, always cause movement, and can be in the same or opposite direction. Example, people pushing a stalled car is an example of unbalanced forces acting in the same direction. Two people pulling an object in opposite directions is an example of unbalanced forces in opposite directions. So kids, today we learned a lot about balanced and unbalanced forces. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. 
don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!